The Mackinac Policy Conference isn't the only one up north right now focusing on Michigan and its future. 7 Action News anchor Stephen Clark is live on Mackinac to tell us about an alternative gathering. Stephen? Yeah, you know, a convention like this certainly isn't cheap. Of course, there's the cost of traveling up to Mackinac. There's a hotel for three nights and the meals. And, of course, just the registration fee for the convention itself is about $3,000. So if you're a young person, say, with some really big ideas, well, this may be out of reach for you. Well, that explains why just across the lake there is another convention going on. And it's a little more Woodstock and a little less Great Gatsby. The average age of the attendees at the Mackinac Conference is probably somewhere north of 40. And there aren't a lot of young people here. But 48 miles away, in Charlevoix, there's an alternative Mackinac Conference going on. How do we elevate and organize the voice of young people um, in, in terms of think problems in the city and then also the state and, and sort of create new ways of addressing those things? Instead of a luxury hotel, catered lunches and cocktails on the porch, there are cabins, tents, and a communal dining room in a barn. Call this the Woodstock of policy conferences. If Woodstock is young energy, then that's, that's what we are. Kevin Kreese is co-founder of Assemble. We are we cleaned out a barn and we have a huge piece of land and we're just sort of getting together and we got a, a pretty speedy internet connection and have uh, just been having good kind of conversations and, and coming up with ideas. They're spending part of their days watching the Mackinac session streaming digitally and the rest of the time coming up with solutions to the problems they're talking about here. Senator Carl Levin even stopped by. They're young people, and it's, I think, very much symbolic of what's going on in Detroit. Young people who sort of sense this is a city coming back, and they want to be where, where the action is. Do you suppose that youth is something maybe could uh, benefit a convention like this one we're at tonight? Yeah, and I just was talking to Sandy, who's running this uh, show here, and uh, they're very much in touch. And instead of paying nearly $3,000 like the attendees on Mackinac, Assemble costs just $80. The goal of what we're trying to do is, is take a really enjoyable conversation around important topics, but then actually get it together and work on something meaningful where we come up with tangible ideas that have plans. And they've got some great ideas. And at the end of their convention, just like this convention here, they're going to come up with a to-do list, suggestions that they come up with at their convention across the lake that they suggest be done to help make the Detroit area a better place. The big question is, will this convention be listening? Reporting live from Mackinac, Stephen Clark, Channel 7, Action News. Dave uh, and Carolyn? You've been a busy guy. Thanks a lot, Stephen. Yeah, hopefully they're listening. Yes. Hopefully everybody's listening. Mm -hmm.